Tokyo, the most populated city in the world. Forty-two million inhabitants, the majority of whom live in buildings that don't allow cats. Condominium regulations strictly forbid them for reasons of hygiene. Not so great for the Japanese, since they adore cats. For cat lovers who can't afford their own house, there are places especially designed for enjoying our furry friends. This morning, the 15 residents of the Happy Neko Cafe emerge from the bedroom. 20 square meters governed by Princess and these other domestic cats. A realm entirely devoted to cats, where human visitors are merely tolerated. <laughs> this week, a new resident makes her appearance. This roly-poly kitten is called Kurumi, little nut in Japanese. She's just turned three months old, the minimum age for admission to this rather unusual place, the cat bar, where she will live from now on. But if Kurumi wants to fit into this elite feline group, she's going to have to prove herself. <laughs> It's not easy for a little kitten to win the approval of all the full-grown cats that have lived here for years. Each cat has its own personality and habits. Princess, the Persian cat, often hides beneath the doll's bed. It's a feline survival reflex to find a hiding spot for peaceful sleeping. Komono likes to sit in salad bowls, classic behavior for domestic cats. They feel protected from the outside world, safe and secure. This one's called Roll. She's gotten into the habit of poking about people's plates. She refuses to follow the rules imposed by humans and eats whenever she feels like it. But there's no question of letting Kurumi pick up the same habit. The waitress quickly sets the record straight. Last but not least is Konatsu. This Siamese cat is not quite a year old, and Kurumi's presence reminds her of her kittenhood. These indoor cats seem used to a cushy life in a safe environment, far from the wild existence of their fellow Greek felines. They've traded their freedom to live like plush toys in an enclosed environment. But the cafe contains specially designed substitutes for life in the wild. 
Instead of trees, there are shelves. Because like leopards, for example, cats love to climb. The ideal position for staking out prey. The only prey here live outside the window, where they're impossible to catch. So to satisfy their urge to hunt, even the adult cats play from time to time. A behavior more common among cats in captivity. At the end of this day of discovery and play, Kurumi finally finds a spot to rest between two sofas. While the owner prepares breakfast, Kurumi, the kitten, is kept away from the frenzy. But order is quickly restored and everyone falls into place. of stealing from a neighbor's dish. Even Kurumi can eat peacefully without being disturbed. As soon as the meal is over, the cafe opens its doors to human patrons. They take off their shoes and wash their hands to keep any germs away from the cats. It didn't take long for Kurumi to get used to the coming and going of visitors. All those slippers don't disturb her in the least. She still plays with Konatsu, but also interacts with the patrons. That's her role here, which is convenient considering predation is second nature for domestic cats. <laughs> Kurumi feels at home and even marks her territory, like the full-grown cats. Beneath their paw pads are scent glands that emit pheromones to mark where they've been. They may be domesticated, but they still need to satisfy their territorial instinct, which is why scratching posts are so useful. The cats rub up against the patrons to mark them with their scent, making them, in a way, part of their territory. But this is different. This cat is busy kneading, a nostalgic reflex. A trip down memory lane when it would need its mother's belly to nurse her milk. All domestic cats retain kitten behavior. It's actually their biggest difference from wildcats. When they curl up on our laps, it's like they were nestled against their mother's tummies. When we pet them, 
Our hand reminds them of their mother's tongue cleaning them. For them, we are like substitute mothers. Comforted and content, they purr like when they were kittens. The vibration is as relaxing for them as for us. And it keeps their muscles from getting stiff when they stay in the same position for too long. Sleep is an important part of their life. 16 hours broken into a succession of short naps. When they're not asleep, cats spend a third of their time grooming themselves with their rough tongue covered in hook-like bumps. It's the ideal tool for cleaning and brushing their fur, but also for getting rid of the scents humans leave on them. And for those hard to reach spots, friends come in handy. Too much grooming, however, can also mean a cat is bored. Are these animals confined indoors and pampered like living plush toys happy? We'll never know. But although they've escaped the risks that come with freedom in exchange for this comfortable dwelling, there's no doubt all their instincts are still intact. The proof, when Kurumi is presented with the screensaver of a cell phone. Thank mm -hmm. you.